of today's video <clears throat> is, I'm not gonna call it, can a sexy bitch live? But it's really, the, that's the vibe, can a sexy bitch live? Like, God be. Y'all hoes be so insecure, y'all niggas be so mad that you can't fuck sexy pussy, but you don't get no money. You just stay mad at sexy bitches. You be like, oh, sexy hoes want niggas with money, and then you just stay broke. It makes zero sense to me on God, yo. Because then it's like, so, you got a couple options. You're either going to be the nigga with money who gets the sexy pussy. You're going to be a rapist, because a lot of you are in multiple ways. In multiple ways. In multiple ways. And that's a whole nother subject for a whole nother day. But, can I sexy bitch live? Because y'all niggas be mad because y'all don't get no pussy because I be looking like, hmm. I mean, like, if you ain't got no money, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to fuck who I want. I'm not going to fuck the ugliest, brokest man in the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need an incentive to even deal with you. However, today's video is consider the source. Consider the source because what happened was, I had some people I consider friends. Here we go again. My stupid ass, right? Ain't no friends, especially if they're like uglier than you or they're broker than you or they're bigger than you and they're not confident with it. It's really no friends when you're a sexy bitch. So a sexy bitch can't live unless it's another sexy bitch. And then a lot of sexy bitches be physically sexy but mentally insecure. <laughs> Woo, shit. Woo. I swear to God, I'll be on here preaching y'all. I swear to God, y'all be over here listening to the uh, people with the scripted shit. I feel like they in relationship when they not. It's a lot, y'all be listening to people who act like, act like they've been sugar babies, never been sugar babies. They just want to read a book and then started a YouTube channel on God. But you would never know because you never been a sugar baby because all you did was buy the book that they wrote inspired by another book that they read. Then you never went and actually applied it. But you come on the channel telling other people who have actually done it what this person who never did it said to do. Mm. It's just, y'all, y'all be having me just, woo, shit. Y'all be having the most advice they never did, I swear to God. It be the women, yo. It be the women ain't never had a man giving them over a hundred dollars. <laughs> it be the women having babies by the brokest men alive, yo. And they be like, this is what you need to do. Oh no, he needs to be doing this for you. Oh no, this is what you, oh my God, you're having sex with him and he doesn't, he needs to, bitch, you been having sex with a nigga that ain't never did nothing for your child. You fucked him after he never did anything for the child. You had a baby for him. He never did anything for you or the child. Then you still kept fucking him. So what does it matter what I did or didn't do if these bills is paid? <laughs> if this lights is paid, if this water is paid, if this car note is paid. What the fuck does it matter? I want to know. You be doing the same shit, giving the coochie away to a nigga in the name of love. In the name of love. Then, when you hear a bitch is getting her bag, you be like, oh no. And you gotta fuck, you been fucking the same lame ass, broke ass nigga from high school for free. For years. But you wanna tell me what I should and should. Uh. <laughs> I just feel like, like, what did Vicky say? The people with the least always doing the most. <laughs> Woo, shit. The people with the least always doing the most. Cause it really be the bitches that ain't never, ever, ever not even had a, you know, cause he ain't gotta be a sugar daddy. He could be a splendid daddy. Y'all ain't had a Splendid Daddy, a Sugar Daddy, no daddy. You didn't have your real daddy. You didn't have a Sugar Daddy. You didn't have a Splendid Daddy. You didn't have a Sprinkle Daddy. All you got is a broke baby daddy. Okay! But y'all be trying to tell me what you read in the book! Because if you ever went and applied what you read in the Sugar Baby book, right? Then you would realize, oh my God, they were lying to me. They were just trying to get my $14.99. Ah! Ah! They just wanted my money. None of these strategies really work. Oh. Oh. And then guess what? Not only did I spend my 
fortunate I am I and believe them. I went telling other people who really did get money, who really are about that life. I went and told them, yo, you're doing it wrong. This person, they wrote this book. And girl, let me tell you, this book, how to mind you, you ain't never did it, right? You ain't never had a splendid daddy, a sugar daddy, a sprinkle daddy. All you got is a broke baby daddy. They be like, girl, this person who wrote this book, um, they said this, this, and this. I'm like, oh my God, how did that work out? Did you try it? Because I bought, you know, I was one of y'all hoes. The, the only difference between me and you is implementation and application on God. Implementation and application. That's the only difference. So, I was one of you. Go find a YouTuber. They they sound like confident and good. Like they done really did it. Like they really got them bags. Like they really got them sugar daddies lined up. Right? Then I go buy their book, right? <sighs> so I write a book. And I'm out here, y'all. I'm out here! And honestly, kudos to me! Because I, I, I sugared in Atlanta, y'all. It's cold in these streets, yo. Like, I didn't sugar in no man's land. I got these bills paid. Oh, dope. Let me just say, if I do say so myself, dope ass apartment. Dope ass apartment. Tour, fall home tour is coming. Fall home slash apartment tour is coming. Got myself a whole dope ass apartment. Nice car living my best life stayed home for months did not work okay in atlanta this is not in timbuktu so because it's hard i mean these niggas they really got their finesse game they've been in the game for 20 years they got their lies they got a whole i mean they got the, the way y'all been reading the books y'all need to read how these niggas got they they how they gonna get pussy for free they got they got the pussy for free memo book okay <laughs> it's got all the notations <coughs> on the strategies they're gonna use to get pussy for free so if i sugar in atlanta i'm a bad bitch but let me tell y'all what okay I, we did the same thing right we got on the youtube and then we saw that they had a book so then we bought the book right this is what we, both of us because the only difference between us is implementation and application so we both bought the book and guess what we both read the book we on the same page right now <laughs> literally okay then me being me, I'm going to take what I learned in the book and I'm going to go implement it and apply it, right? I'm going to want to see, you know, hey, well, you know, does it really work? And, you know, I don't know, there's somebody over here doing a car wash. And now I'm like, let me get this person's information because if they do detailing, I need to figure out their pricing and stuff. And I'm going to get back to my word in just a second. Hold on, y'all. This, this word is coming. See, very nice apartment, but I don't want to shout out too much because I know y'all got the stalkers. I know I be talking shit about little dicks and shit. I be hurting niggas' feelings. Niggas want to hurt me and kill me. Kill your motherfucking self and your mama and your daddy for the genetics they gave you. we read the book then the whole implementation part because first of all most of these books tell y'all to lose weight okay a lot of these sugar baby they try to tell you you yeah, the weight and the femininity they connected but y'all they y'all skip over that so y'all don't apply that y'all don't apply none of it y'all read the books that's what y'all do y'all eat the potato chips y'all eat the potato chips and you read the books actually go implement it because you know i'm me i'm gonna go see if this person who wrote this book 
and I'm so glad there's a man out here talking to this other lady with her dog and I feel like he was trying to kind of flirt with me but I feel like they're both more on the same level they both have dogs they're both around the same age they both around the same weight you know what I'm saying like leave me alone you know what I'm saying this this lady that you're talking to right now she is up your alley you know y'all be over here trying to get a sexy bitch and you over here 1,000 pounds and 66 years old like where do they do that at in Atlanta <sighs> anyway y'all gonna get this word so you and i read the book you don't implement the book i go implement the book and then after trying what they said several times i was like damn either they were in you know i'm nice enough to do this i'm nice enough to say this which i really should either they were in a really situational circumstantial you know thing where this these strategies really work for them and it was just you know it worked for them because of the specific situation and circumstances or they're just lying to sell books either way because you never got out of your room from eating potato chips and reading sugar baby books and never ever got a sugar daddy a splendid daddy or any type of daddy other than your broke baby daddy okay because you never did any of that you don't know that they were lying so then you come to me and you hear i've gotten my bag or i'm getting bags or whatever and then you're like, oh, well, you should have done this, or you should do this, or you should have blah, 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 Because you done read a book. Get your ass out your motherfucking room, put the book and the potato chips down, go implement what you read in the last three, four sugar baby books you read, then come back to me and tell me what the fuck I need to do. 